for you in just a minute. The sixth annual IME Youth Summit will be February 10th at the Woodward Career Technical School. And joining us right now in studio, we have Letitia Owens. She is with Guiding Light Mentoring. And then we also have uh, Gina. She is with the Trauma Prevention at UC Medical Center. Thank you both so much for coming in. We appreciate you taking the time. Uh, let's talk about the summit and really why you guys decided to partner up. Yeah, so the reason behind it, back in 2018, Guiding Light and other organization behind every great kid just noticed that a lot of kids um, just lack certain skills um, and to, just to be resilient and overcome different obstacles that they were facing. So we decided to um, start the event then, but um, each year the theme changes. And this year, unfortunately, with the rise in um, gun violence, um, we wanted to just do some preventative work around that. We've done some work with Whitney Strong for the past couple of years, and so we definitely wanted to partner up with them again for this one. Yeah, let's talk about Whitney Strong for those who maybe aren't familiar. I know you've been on the show uh, talking about it before, but uh, go ahead and kind of give people an idea of what Whitney Strong is all about. So um, Whitney Strong, the Whitney Strong organization was started by Whitney Austin, who was a shooting survivor from the fifth third shooting um, that happened on Fountain Square about Wait, five years ago. Go. Okay. Um, and so she created this organization and it is a very well-rounded organization. And the part that we're bringing to the summit, the Youth Summit, um, in a couple of weeks is the Save a Life program, which is a right now, let's help the youth program. So she does a lot of legislative work as well, and sometimes that takes a little bit longer for change. But the Save a Life program is a, what we can do right now to help the youth. So it incorporates um, firearm safety, suicide prevention curricula, as well as the Stop the Bleed, which is what it, which is the part that I do through UC Health Trauma Center. Okay, I mean, you know, we talk about these things uh, every day, unfortunately, and maybe not every day, but at least once a week, we talk about gun violence within our city, uh, a shooting that occurred. For you all, you see uh, kind of the different, a different side than what we see. We talk about it, we eventually, you know, talk about the people, the families involved, but you're there, you know, when it happens and you're there kind of taking action, you know, UC Medical Center is. So what are some of the things that people need to know? I know you're gonna be handing out kits at this summit. So what are things, and you want kids to know? Yeah, so what's really important is for kids to realize that they can save a life even before first responders get there. Um, trauma is the leading cause of death for people in the age group of 1 to 44, and from those traumatic injuries, blood loss is the number one cause of death because it happens, and it can happen in less than five minutes, wow. where our average response time for first responders could be anywhere up to 10 minutes. So just by taking this class and getting empowered and feeling comfortable and confident in their skills, using pressure with their hands and literally the shirt off their back, or packing a wound if needed, or using a tourniquet, which is part of the kit that they receive once they take the training, is what would save a life before first responders even get there. And you hope that it never comes down to that. And that's kind of where you guys come in with these summits. You know, it's good to have these precautionary measures in place, having those kits available, because unfortunately it is something that we're just hopefully not going to continue to see much more of, uh, but something that is going to happen within the community. So what are you hoping people take away when they attend the summit? Well, definitely um, with the kids' workshops, um, we're teaching them skills about learning who their identity is. I think that plays a factor in some of the decision making that they're making, but also building up their community. So being able to tap into um, adult figures and resources that can help them stay on track, but then also being able to advocate for themselves. So yeah. um, those are some of the skills that we want to teach them. It just help, hopefully that'll help them um, not make some poor decisions that can lead into the gang and gun violence. Right, well, we appreciate you both so much uh, for so many different reasons, one of which coming in, but we want people to be able to know where they can sign up, where they can register, get involved. What's the best way to do that? Um, they can go to guidinglightmentoring.org forward slash 24 um, slash summit. Okay, there you go. Thank you both so much again. And we'll have all this information as well as those links on our website, box19.com. In the meantime, let's send things over to our Catherine Bodak, who is in the web.